we just got back from vacation. And uh, so, of course, we got to come pick up our mail at my mother-in-law's house because that's where all my freight comes. And um, we have some pretty cool mail today. So we're going to unbox some of this stuff. And I'm assuming that we are public and that we are live and everything is cool. Hopefully this is not a private video. Anyway, um, so we've got some cool stuff. Hoping to see one person on here. So let me make sure that we know that this is not private because I forgot to check that. Okay, cool. So everybody's here. Cool. So let's uh, go ahead and unbox a couple of things that I got in the mail while I was gone. What's up, everybody? Um, the reason I do these unboxings live is because, uh, especially with what's in this box, um, it keeps everything kind of honest. Um, when we review products later and when we do various stuff like that. So this box right here says, Paul Reed Smith guitars. Well, that's interesting. Uh, unboxing knife today. The Medford Smooth Criminal. I actually really like this knife. It's kind of fun and fidgety. So let's go ahead and see what is in this here box. I already know what's in this box, but you don't. I got an email a couple of weeks ago from someone at Paul Reed Smith saying, hey, I've got some stuff that you might want to look at on your channel. Do you want me to send it? And I said, yeah. So this should be one of each of their new pedals. Paul Reed Smith guitars. In the box we have the Wind Through the Trees pedal. This is the dual analog flanger. Now, obviously, you've probably seen bajillions of videos about this stuff already, um, but I'm excited to try it myself because I have not. And I want to thank Paul Reed Smith guitars for sending this to me because this is pretty cool. They've never sent me anything before, actually. This is the first time that they've sent me anything. Uh, the Mary Cries Optical Compressor. So we got one of those right there in a box. And then we got... Okay, Mr. Car Across the Street. The Horse Meat. And uh, if any of us are familiar with this stuff, we already kind of know what it is already and what these things do, but I'm kind of excited to feel and hear them myself for the first time. So there's the horse meat pedal. Um, man, they're nice. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see for myself because, I mean, I've listened to a bunch of videos and we've all watched probably a bunch of videos about these by now. And, um, you know, we'll just kind of see what's up with them. I'm kind of kind of stoked. So anyway, they just sent me three pedals in a box. For those of you that wonder how all this stuff works, again, with the transparency, um, there's no, they didn't pay me. I'm not doing a review, really. They just asked me if I wanted to try them. So, to tell you the truth, if they suck, I won't make a video. But I kind of guess they won't. There's nothing else in the box. They didn't send me an email saying, hey, these are the talking points that we want you to talk about or any of that kind of stuff. I literally just got three pedals in a box. So, Super Chat from Doug Santinello. Love you, brother. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on what everybody's saying. Okay, now, here's the cool part. These are cool, but I don't really care about these. These will get, we'll put those in the video. That'll be fine. The highlight of the day is what's in this box right here. Again, I already know what's in this box. Um, it says Dylan's on it. This box came from Texas Toast, but this is not a Texas Toast guitar. And this is the coolest um, guitar of 2022. Um, I'm gonna open it first 
And I'm going to tell you the story. Nobody could have a cooler guitar than this guitar right here. This is... This is beyond cool. This is better than New Guitar Day. This is better than New Gear Day. This is better than... I will tell you right now, if you got a new guitar t this week, not meaning to brag, but very proud of what's in this box. I'm going to have a cooler new gear day than you. This is genuinely mind blowing. I put a little foam particulates all over my van and now I have to vacuum. Okay. This. Uh, right here. Don't lose my knife. Hard shell case. Look at this. This is a TV yellow Les Paul Jr. style guitar. And what makes this, hmm, it smells like nitrocellulose lacquer. What makes this guitar cool is a couple of things. One is it has my P90 in it, which is pretty sweet. Notice it's not a stock Gibson bridge, but it's one that actually intonates, which is cool. I think in the case, I have, if I want to switch the scratch plate or pick guard, depending on where you're from, to tortoise, I've been given that option, as well as the back cover. I think there's a back cover in there too. Nitrocellulose TV yellow. You notice the peg head is not the same as a Gibson because on the back of the peg red right here, it says Dylan, one of one. Um, a little backstory. A real one of these, like if I were to go get a 59 Les Paul Jr. in TV yellow, double cut, exactly like this, but a Gibson from 59, that's kind of one of my dream guitars. That's like a bucket list guitar for me. One of our longtime viewers and a guy who has really become a good friend of mine um, built this guitar for me. And when I was in Colorado a few weeks ago, um, we were over at a friend of ours house and he said, hey, check out this cool guitar. And I was like, dude, that thing is sweet. And I was like, oh, it's got one of my pickups in it. That's cool. Et cetera, et cetera. And we're sitting here talking and he's like, look at the back of the peg head. And I looked at the back of the peg head and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Because, you know, maybe he was naming a model after me or something. I don't know. Which would be weird, but cool. And the story is that he's like, this is yours. He's like, I built this guitar for you. This is not for you. This is not a kit. 100% cut from scratch. Um, one piece, or maybe it's a two piece body. No, well, that looks like a one piece body. Um, mahogany body. He built this guitar from scratch. Neck, body, frets, the entire thing. Now, the, the deeper, cooler part of this, obviously, is first of all, somebody actually gave me a guitar, which blows me away because I don't, I don't recall anybody actually gifting me a guitar like this i would actually i would say no that's not true um there is another viewer who's actually watching right now who gave me a guitar and we actually gave it away uh but for somebody to actually give me a guitar for me nobody's ever done that before i don't think um and so this is really really special and what's really cool about this also beyond just it being cool that this happened and i am so grateful for this friend 
But also, this friend of mine who, who has been going to these Texas Toast Guitar classes learned how to do this. Uh, he'd been learning it for quite a while, and he's been going to Texas Toast to hone his skills and get better. And he built this guitar from scratch, not a kit, um, which I think is really cool. So just in a little plug for the Texas Toast classes, I think there, it's more than just um, the guitar that you get in the end. It's all of the things. Um, anyway, we're going to use it. I don't have an amp with me right now, so I can't share it with you. But we're going to use uh, this in a bunch of videos. I'm sure I will be playing it. Um, it's got hip shot tuners. Uh, it's got a bone nut, rosewood fretboard, mahogany body. I don't know what bridge that is, but it's really nice. And 100% uh, made from scratch by my friend. And I don't know if he wants the whole world to know who he is, so I'm not going to say his name, but... You know who you are. You might be watching right now. I really, 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 really appreciate this. It's, it's kind of mind-blowing. So that's why I'm saying this guitar right here is the coolest guitar of 2022 for a lot of reasons. Um, the friendship and the camaraderie that this hobby brings, as well as the skills learned and etc. He actually took the pickup winding class too, so... Uh, I made this pickup, but he's made his own pickup since then. So that's pretty cool. So we'll set right that that right over there And uh, let me look through some of these comments really quick Let me look through these comments really quick um, No PRS pickups in there. Nope. No no popcorn. Uh, right on. Let's see. Sincere thanks for the Patreon discount. One of your P base pickups is going out for me to install in my Squire 40th anniversary P base. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so if you're a Patreon or a YouTube member, you get 25% off everything at the website today uh, through through Monday. So what that means, actually, is that if you're not a Patreon patron, um, you don't get the discount. But it's only 5 bucks to join Patreon. And I already have seen people save like $100. So I don't care if you join Patreon for one month for 5 bucks or two months for 5 bucks, And you go over there and save 50 bucks. It doesn't doesn't bother me at all and even if you cancel patreon afterwards it's okay it's totally fine um but chances are you're going to want to hang around because we have a live hangout on patreon and for youtube members on monday night uh there's a level for that that that's going to happen uh for the 20 dollars level so make sure you check that out as well um so let's see hang on i'm just checking everybody to see if i got any uh careful doug yeah don't crash i saw you way cool cheers from texas that's bloody awful you might not like cool guitars apparently um yeah super cool it's a it's a super cool thing um anyway i just want to share it with you i'm absolutely stoked on it I'm absolutely stoked on this thing. And, um, yeah. I've played it a bunch already into an amp, and it sounds freaking amazing. So there you go. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, we will get to the PRS pedals here pretty quick. I hope you dig them as well. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks for hanging out, and I guess we'll see you Monday.